North Carolina allows unaffiliated voters to choose whether or not they want to vote in the Democratic or Republican primary. Well, this time around, they overwhelmingly chose to vote in the GOP primary. 96% of those who voted in the Republican primary chose Donald Trump for president and Mark Robinson for governor. But after that, the numbers fall off. 13% didn't vote for one of the 11 Republicans running for lieutenant governor. 17% skipped the insurance commissioner's race. And 18%, nearly 200,000 voters, didn't bother to pick a candidate in the superintendent of public instruction race. Dark Horse candidate Michelle Morrow beat incumbent Catherine Truitt by 36,000 votes. What I learned from these data is certainly she won fair and square. A lot of voters had that in mind, but a whole lot of voters picked none of the above there. Political scientist Chris Cooper from Western Carolina University compiled the data and found two thirds of independent voters chose the Republican ballot, a massive increase for the GOP. I think they picked the Republican ballot because it was the more interesting, one, right? So people who you know, love or hate Donald Trump, you probably have an opinion. Despite the independent wave voting in the GOP primary, Cooper says, don't read too much into it. Nothing to bring from that to November. Yeah, I don't think there is a lot. I, I see people trying to make hay of that, say, hey, look, that shows a lot of Republican enthusiasm. You know, I'm not sure that that's what I would take away from it. I don't think it's predictive for November in any significant way. Professor Cooper says the GOP ballot roll off was four times greater than the Democratic one. That means voters who chose the Democratic ballot were far more likely to complete the ballot than those who chose the Republican one. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.